Hey guys, in today's video, I will be teaching you how to solder different things for RC cars by letting Glenn show you how to do it. <laughs> because I am not great at soldering. I've soldered like just a handful of things. And to be honest with you, I am surprised those RCs have not burst into flames by now. I am not great. But Glenn is a pro at this. He's really good at it. And he is nice enough to film a tutorial for you guys to show you how to solder a bunch of different things for RC cars. All right, Glenn, go ahead and show them what you're going to be starting off with. All right, when you're soldering, the most important thing is cleanliness. If it's not clean, the solder won't stick. So before you start, you want to clean your iron tip so it's somewhat shiny. You can use a sponge, you can use water, you can use sandpaper. I use sandpaper. There you go. Next, you want to do make some kind of holder to hold it where you can solder it easy. So I take a rubber band, put on a pair of pliers, clip your connector on there, you're good to go. Make sure your connector is clean. I took this one apart just for demonstration, so... You want to get the, you want to use 60-40 rosin core solder. Using the right solder is important. Using the right gun is important. This is, you don't need a fancy soldering iron or all that stuff. This is a 60 watt iron. 60 watts good for up to about 10 gauge wire. If you go thicker than that, the iron can't put the heat in it fast enough. The wire will dissipate the heat faster than the iron that can put it in. You want to, you want to heat the, the thing you're going to solder so it takes the solder. You put a little bit of solder on your iron, touch it to the thing, it's going to make the thing start to get hot. Once the thing gets hot enough to take the solder, see the thing's taking the solder, not the iron? Got a little puddle on there. Same thing for your wire. Make sure your wire's clean. Check your polarity. Now, if you're going to use heat shrink tubing, you want to put the tubing on before you solder. Otherwise, you got to take it apart. If you want to, you can take another pair of pliers and use it like a heat, sh heat sink. If you put this here, It'll keep the wire from getting hot and shrinking your tubing before you get it soldered. So again, put a little bit of solder on your wire. Get the wire hot enough to take the solder. A little bit on the iron so it's touching and making continuity there. But the wire is actually taking the solder. See that? And when you got both pieces tinned, you heat this puddle back up. You see the puddle will flow. And it flows together. You did it. Let it cool off. Still hot. There you go. Once it, once it cools... So there you go. That's your basic soldering for doing a connector. Then you can put your tubing up there and shrink it and everything else. You want to make sure your iron's clean. Your tip. Cleanliness is important. Can't solder on the corrosion. Can't solder on the dirt. Make sure both pieces are clean. You want to heat the, the surface up to take the solder, not just blob solder on there. So you, you put a little, little on here for continuity. And once it gets warm enough, the, the connector will actually take the solder. See how the connector's taking the solder in? I'm not coming off the iron with it. This connector's taking it. Same thing on the wire. You're going to get the wire, a little blob on here to get it close. So the heat transfers. Once it gets hot enough, the wire takes the solder. Once you got the two things tinned, if you're going to use heat shrink tubing, make sure you put the tubing on before you solder. Otherwise, you got to take it apart. So I'm putting the tubing on there. Another pair of pliers with no insulator there. Going to use that for a heat sink. That's going to keep the wire from getting hot back there and shrinking the heat shrink tubing. So I got both pieces tinned. They got solder on both pieces. Gonna heat it up. See the puddle got liquid? And there it is. Let it cool. All right, what you gonna show them next? So to do a bullet connector, you wanna solder this, you gotta hold it still. So if you just clamped it in the pliers, the plier would act like a heat sink and you never get this hot because as you put heat in here, the wires can act like a big radiator and dissipate the heat. So you got to take a piece of paper and I used to rip it off of whatever I bought the product out of. Just take a tear the corner off of it. Put that around your, your, your uh, connector there. Now when I'm putting heat in this, it doesn't get sucked away by the pliers. So I'm going to solder this into that. So again, make sure everything's clean. So once you got the connector held in there with the thing and insulated, you want to get the connector hot to take the solder. Again, you don't want to just, if you just heat solder and drop it on, it won't stick. So you want to heat the device, the, the connector up to where the connector takes the solder. See if I can show you that. See how it's hot enough that the connector is taking the solder in? Not the iron. That connector's hot enough that it's melting the solder. The iron's not doing it. So you got that hot. Take the end of your wire you want to solder. Make sure your wire is clean. If it's not, you can clean it with some sandpaper. Tin the end of the wire. Same thing. Get it hot enough where it's taking the solder. See the wire's taking the solder? 
not the uh, the iron tips not actually doing it. So there you go. That that piece of wire is now tinned, and now you're gonna heat this up towards a little liquidy again. Gotta be patient for it to get hot. So there you go, the, the dude is now hot. The stuff in the bottom is liquidy. Take this and just stick it down in there. Now if you wanna fill it up, you can add some more solder to that. See everything got liquid in there, a little you see it? You can center up your wire, make it pretty. When you let it cool. Done. All right, people ask me, how can I make my wire longer? If you want to make your wire longer, take wire, tin both pieces of wire. Let's put, put the solder on both pieces, get them. Now both pieces got solder on them. They're, they're, that's called tinned. And then you just lay them beside each other and melt that glue together. See how that melted together? Let it cool. Put some heat shrink on that. That ain't going nowhere. Wire to wire. All right, that was basic soldering. I'm gonna get a little bit more advanced for people that wanna do more crafty, creative things. Uh, things you can solder. You can solder silver, brass, copper. Things you can't solder, steel, cast iron, aluminum, titanium. So as long as they're clean, you can solder silver, bronze, copper, and brass to each other and together in different ways. So if you wanted to solder, we did we did connectors, we did wire to wire. So here's a little bit more if you want to do wire to this is a piece of brass. Make sure it's clean. You can solder the wire to the brass the same way. You tin the brass, you tin the wire, and you stick them together. So here you go. This is going to be... This is going to be, uh, and you'll see that little puddle lay out now that the, the metal's taking the solder, not the iron. And you got the piece of wire. We're going to tin the piece of wire. The wire's taking the solder again. The wire's hot enough that it's taking the solder. We don't want to drop blobs on it. So the wire's solder, tinned. The thing's tinned. And we do this. If you're doing a crawler and want to solder some chains to it or something. So there you go. That is wire to brass you can also solder different kind this is wire like that out of your house but you can bend this and mold it and shape it and do things with it and you can solder this stuff make sure it's clean i got my little holders here so i can you got to get the wire hot enough to take the solder i put a little bit of solder on there so it makes continuity where it's transferring the heat See how the wire is now hot enough to take the solder? Got that tin. We can add that to that. If you're trying to make something, say you might try to make a trailer hitch or Lord only knows, because there's no limit. There's no rules in the hobby, I always say. There's no rules. So we're going to get this clean. I want to and get this clean. And make this into something. Boom. Now, if I was to hold this with my fingers, it would hurt. If I clamped it onto here, it wouldn't get hot. So you have to use piece of paper or something as an insulator so you can hold it position it while you're doing it without setting yourself on fire you see that you can tin both pieces you don't have to when you're doing this it's going to sweat underneath and uh glue together just fine so you got solder on both pieces Cool. And 
this is super tough once it's together people don't really get a grip on how you can build something super rugged for your car because you can now this isn't coming apart it's just like it was welded but it's it's soldered together it's, that can hold a lot of weight so here for if you want to build construction people are asking i need body mounts i need to put a wing on my car or whatever you can take brass and cut it and solder it together and make any old thing you want so let's see if i can show you how this goes together i made a little box for you here Gotta make sure you get everything hot enough to start taking the solder and you just take your solder once you get it on there i can't see what i'm doing there i'll do one side to hold it still i'll come around and do the other side I'll show you how to flow it in there just like your just like your welding except you're using solder See, that's taking a solder in your dust like you're welding it together. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is how you solder things on RC cars. And hopefully Glenn showed you some really cool stuff, like this little box. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. I've seen people do this before, and I have never done that on any of my RCs. And I know that some of you guys want to do, like, custom bodies and custom roll cages and stuff. And that would be super useful for you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Like the video if you like it. Share it with your friends. Save this one for later. This is going to be a really useful video for you guys. And that's all I have for you today. So I will see you guys later.